Hello, Kevin here. Welcome to, no, I was going to say back, but welcome to um, the first episode of a journeyman series on Football Manager 21. Um, if anyone's following me on Twitch right now, you know I've been doing um, a lot of Football Manager. I've been taking Maidenhead from the National League and I'm going to try and get them into Champions League. So if you haven't got me on Twitch and you want to see that, um, definitely check my Twitch out, which is in the description below. Uh, but in terms of a YouTube series, I'm going to be doing a Journeyman series. I've never done this before. I always tend to just go to a really low team, sort of like Maidenhead, and just take them as high as I can. Uh, but Journeyman seems to be like you start as a really sort of bad manager and you just work your way up and try and get to the best team you possibly can. Uh, so I'm just going to start this save here. We're going to go with no, no uh, coaching badges at all. And we're going to do Sunday League football. So we've got pretty much no experience there. Like <laughs> This is going to be painful. Uh, so we'll confirm that. And we'll jump into the save and see where to go from there. Okay, so we're in the save here. Um, as you can see, we've got no club. I've never done this before, so I'm assuming I just go to Job Center. And this is all the available jobs at the moment. Obviously, I don't want to be a director of football, so... I'll take, Oh, or do I, do I, no, yeah, we want to be a manager, we definitely want to be a manager, um, this save's probably going to run pretty slow, because obviously it's um, a lot of leagues loaded in, because I want to get as many leagues in here as possible, give me the best chance of progressing in terms of teams, etc., hopefully finding a job, <laughs> hopefully we can find a job. Um, so yeah, this is all the manager vacancies. So there's a lot of candidates, a lot of things going on. You've got lots of country teams. So the countries we don't, I'm not going to apply for country teams really. I wouldn't have thought so. Um, so this is, this is what we've got here. Um, so yeah, let's untick reserves and youth teams and untick international. So we just want to go to a, a full-fledged club. Um, I tend I the save. I pretty much put every league. I think I'm missing a, a few sort of Asian leagues like Madagascar and weird, weird ones. But I put pretty much all the main ones in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do apply it all, apply for all, and don't show this again. Yeah, we'll go on holiday and see what see what comes of this. Okay, here we go. Uh, we've been holidaying, holidaying for about a month and a bit. Um, and we've been unsuccessful with every single application. Uh, but there's been one, uh, EIF. They are in the Finnish first division. Um, they're rock bottom of their league. Goal difference is not good. Um, it's not looking too great there. Uh, but they have offered me a job. I went for an interview. Obviously, they must have liked like the what I said, and they've offered me the job. So let's start in the negotiations. Um, three hundred pounds per week. Happy with that. That's a nice little wage there. Nice. And I'm not really going to change anything here. So we'll just finalise the deal, and we'll get our first job underway. We are. It's actually E E Ekanas. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but Ekanas. I'm just going to call it EIF. It is definitely easier to say that. Yeah, but we got a job. Uh, so they got a two-star reputation, which is actually quite okay. I'm surprised that they gave someone like me with no experience the job. But this is what happens. This is what happens. We take it. We take anything we're given. So this is the best 11. Now we'll have a look through the team. I think I've, they said I've got a budget of like... 600 pounds or something <laughs> so it's not looking too healthy in terms of what i can invest uh, in terms of an induction um if that that's fine schedule a pref conference i don't want to send an advice report mate as well okay so that is it we are in our first job so i guess we'll go and Review the 
the players, I guess. And so we've got players that are in last year of contract. We've got like a five star centre back, important player. A four star. His wage is zero pounds. So we've got a lot of low wages players. Oh, this is going to be painful. So I'm just going to apply recommended there for now. Have new expectations for playing next time. Playing time next season. Okay. Okay, so they want to be played. The board, we've got a wage budget of 2,000 per week. That's crazy. 500 pound transfer budget as well. So tactics induction, not too worried about that. I'll just go on. Uh, okay, we didn't do a, a press conference and they didn't seem too happy about that, but it happens. Uh, vice captain, they want me to change the vice captain straight away. And they want me to do loads of kick takers. So I'm going to ignore most of this. And I'll be back on the squad screen pretty quick. Okay, so having a look at the team depth we've got here. Uh, I just chose a 4 2 3 1 for my first formation. Uh, I'm willing to change that. I just chose it just for the sake of this. Um, so we've got quite a lot of depth in a lot of positions here. And they're all fairly good in terms of star rating, but that might be because the quality is, uh, the quality is quite low of this squad. But I'm quite happy with how much depth is here. Obviously, we've got this Geller, Geller um, who can play Cam. So we don't have many people that can play this Cam position. So going off of that, we can go, we've got some people that can play Striker. So I am tempted to go to like a 4-4-2 or a 4-2-4. I think that's going to be more suited to the squad we've got here. Yeah, so. Let's have a look at 424. See if these wide positions. Two and a half star. Elstrom. Ekstrom. Got Hagland. Hmm. Not too many people on the left that can play in that position there. To be fair, we have got a few. Maybe it's just a position we will have to try and upgrade at some point. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to go 4 2 4. Uh, I've been using this formation in my Maidenhead save and it's been working really well with like a sort of a underdog sort of team. So it could be a good way to get us out of this relegation battle and try and move up the league a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy with the team there. I have to choose a captain. I'm sorry, I'm assuming, I'm assuming that they're recommending Estelander. So 31 years old, right back. Or Ekstrom, who I'm assuming is probably the best player in the team. He's a really good attacking left winger, actually. But in terms of leadership, is he what we don't? Because this guy is... Ooh. He's a... I'd even say, like, Koski. Koski's quite good. Goalkeeper. Or do we just go with the the, the old guy? I reckon to go to the, for the old guy. Because we've got Hagland as well, who's a right winger. We go Hagland... Yeah, let's go Hagland as main captain. And then let's go as Estlander as vice. Because I feel like this guy being 23 is going to play a little bit more. I'm going to go for that. Um, making changes. Making changes to this team. Okay, so it looks like we are in the transfer window. Restricted transfer closes. Okay, I didn't know that. So we might have to do some... Bindings, maybe. See what we can bring in. Yeah, so in terms of what we can do at this team, 
got a transfer budget of six hundred pounds, and we've got a wage budget of minus one nine seven. So that's not looking too healthy. <laughs> Uh, so we can't really do many changes there unless we get rid of some players. So let's have a little look in terms of contract. This guy, he's on, he's actually worth a lot of money. But yeah, let's go. I'm not even on the squad screen now. So let's go to... That squad is really light. Is that just me that can see? Only just got enough for subs. What the hell? So if we go to contract screen and then go to wage, who is on the highest wage? So the centre back with five star centre back is on the highest wage. And ideally I would want to keep him. We've got Darren Smith, who's a regular starter. He's four star. He's four star and he's not going to really fit the way we play. But he could be good to keep for now because he is four star. But yeah, there's not, not many people we can really like get rid of, if that makes sense, because they're not on a lot of money. <laughs> I think we've got to somehow just play with the tactics, play with the training, play with the people, just try and get through this first season and hopefully get a budget of like £500 or something. We might be able to bring in a few, few players for that amount, I guess. Ooh, this is, this is tough. I've never done a save like this. I've never done journeyman. I always just tend to go to the English leagues, like National League, and just pick a team. But coming to like a different league, like clearly money is an issue. So it's a, it's a bit strange. It's a bit strange. I've got to get used to this. See where to go. I don't really want to sell anyone because look how tight this squad is already. Like, we've only got two spare players. Like, what? Who? <laughs> Okay, oh. uh, in terms of tactics, I don't know if to maybe go for this, this um, 4 2 3 1 and put that Darren Smith, who's the best, um, to get the use out of him. I think I might do that now. So I might go for a 4 2 3 1. See where to go from there. So I'm going to start playing Koski, I think. Yeah, Koski. Right back, who we got? We got Secunda, who is better than Sevon. And Sevon is Brandon. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So Secunda is left back, but he can play right back. Okay, that makes sense. Let's go onto the screen. It's a little bit easier. So in terms of centre backs, we got Konkobi and we got Guso Kenka. They are our two best centre backs, so I'll probably stick with that. I'll sort out all these tactics afterwards. Uh, but yeah, I just chose a 4 2 3 1 Gagan press for now. But I might change that at some point. So, a central, a central defensive midfielder. This Gila or Geller, he seems like the best midfielder, but what is his stats saying? His, his tackling's not particularly high, but he's got pretty good stats for like a. Okay, advanced forward. No, uh, advanced playmaker, sorry. Yeah. Because he's quite, he's got really good mentals and he's got some good technicals. But in a ball winning midfielder, he's, he's only got 10 tackling. I don't know, we'll see, see what these other midfielders have got. Like this guy's got 15 tackling. He's better in the ball winning midfielder position. And then... This guy can just go as a deep line playmaker on support. Yeah, that makes so much more sense. Like this guy's got 15 tackling and they're playing him as a box-to-box -box midfielder. Like, fair enough. But you've got a guy who can't tackle as a ball-winning midfielder. Doesn't make sense. Okay. So, like, Gila can play where in Cam as well. So, that's good cover there. And we're going to play Dan Darren Smith. Cam. Um, it's a bit of a waste if we was playing play him on the wing, etc. Let's get the use out of him, get his familiar position in that centre attacking midfield. Right hand side, we've got Smith who can play there, we've got that Geller who can play there, we've got Savon who can play there, I assume he's the right back. So other than that, 
we are down to like Hagland. Let's see what he says. So he, that is his natural position. He's okay. He's not very good. But I don't think anyone in this team is going to be very good. I'll sort out what their roles are, etc. Like winger, I would do winger support maybe. Ekstrom on the left hand side. He can play left back as well. His tackling's quite high, which is good. Osakunda. Hmm. I'd rather play you at left back and then put another left mid in here. <laughs> is that is that weird? So if we use this guy, we can play pretty much left or right wing. Yeah, I'd rather play this guy left wing than have a more solid left back. This guy's solid at left back. He's got good tackling. He's got some good physicals, determination, decisions. Yeah, I'd rather do that. Um, so yeah, that looks... No, I need to do striker. So Darren Smith is the best striker. But then we've got Ullmanen. Um, Ullmanen? As the next striker. And he doesn't look too bad. He's got some nice physicals. Not the paciest. But he's got some nice physicals there. Let's see. see who else we have in this position. We've got Ekstrom. Who is the left back. He can pretty much just play everywhere. <laughs> and we've got Ojin, Ojinen. Ojinen. He seems to be a lone player. Where have we got this lone player from? I don't know where that is. Um, looks nice. I would rather play him. Oh, he's suspended at the moment, so I'll leave that guy there. But I think he's going to go left wing for sure. Strada. Quite good. He's 34, though. He's, he's a bit leggy. Um, and yeah, so I think we're going to go with Olmanen. We haven't really got much else apart from Estrada there. You can play striker. Um, so we've got Darren Smith as well. So we're, we're a bit light in these two positions here. So this could be somewhere to upgrade in the future. I think defence, we're fairly okay. Like in terms of a backup centre-back, we're not too good. But he's got nice stats in the key areas. That's okay. That's really not looking too bad. I'm not too, too worried at the moment. I'm, I'm a bit scared about the... The size of the squad. We've only got two spares, so if we get a few injuries, suspensions, could be a bit um, good. Okay, so that was quite. I just done a team meeting there. I'm um, normally not the. I'm normally not the best at team meetings. They always seem to go the opposite um, to what I want them to do. Um, but that seems to be a big problem with this team. The overall dynamics, like managerial support, not good. I need to improve this. I need to start talking to a few players and sorting that out. Club atmosphere is not too good. Team cohesion is not too good. So we're going to have to try and work on this. And this, like all of that sort of stuff just comes from winning football games. If we start winning football games, like team cohesion will start going up. The atmosphere will go up. And then people will obviously support me. So we just need to get a few results. You just grind out a few results. That's all we need to do. Okay, so I've gone through, done a few tactics, and see how these go. Um, so we've got pretty much from my maidenhead save, I've learned pressing forwards is probably the way to go when you're an underdog. Um, pretty much pressing everywhere. <laughs> uh, you just want to get stuck in, and obviously press, and you're going to fitness is going to be a myth. Uh, but you bring your subs on, and it should be okay. So in terms of defense, I feel like we've actually got fairly good defenders here. Uh, they're pretty good at passing. Um, they're, they're probably the best players. Like the two defenders are probably the best two players in the team. Um, so defence, I've just gone pretty defensive. Clearly, clearly we're bottom for a reason. We can't concede in too much and not scoring enough. So I'm trying to express that in the tactics. Let these guys be more expressive and just go forwards. Uh, but then we also got the two CDMs that are going to... One of them's going to support, but the other one's just going to sit back, defend and just win the ball. Pass it on to this guy who's going to um, get up and down the pitch. So I feel like this is going to be our setup for a while. Um, see how it goes. See if we can try and get a few results, get a bit of confidence going. So yeah, see where to, see where to go now.
Yeah, I so I completely forgot about the under 20s team as well. It seems like there's a few players who could potentially be better um, than our current team, uh, which is good to see. Uh, so like this guy's got really good uh, potential. He's already one and a half star. And I think our current left winger is only only one and a half star. I know it would be two star. So is it worth promoting that guy and just giving him the free reign? Because his potential is so high. Oh, transfer arranged. God's sake. So he's going pretty much. How frustrating. And I'm moving... <laughs> Let's move into the senior squad. Oh, I think that actually worked. <laughs> uh, so, but I think he's going to be leaving at the end of the season. So, I don't really want to use him now. I might just move him back to where I just took him from. But yeah, I'll sort that out. Yeah, it's transfer range seventeenth. Uh, so yeah, we've literally got two months. So there's no point. Trying to progress someone else's player for him. Alrighty, so we got a game. This is our first game in charge. Coming up against MYPA. They're eighth in the division. Uh, not too far above us. So this is probably a game where we want to try and be competitive. Especially being at home. Get three points off to a good start. That would be perfect. So Into team selection. We've got one guy who's suspended. So I'll just take him out for Estrada. Yeah. So let's, that was the best team I could pick at that time. Let's see what the selection of the vice is saying. So they want me to put Phil. Oh, Philian's the best goalkeeper, isn't he? He was injured. I'm pretty sure he's just come back. Okay, so he's not actually too much better. Who's the youngest keeper here? We've got Koski. A, 25. Um, Fillion is 24. So, okay, okay. So, I'd rather go with Fillion then. Try and progress him a little bit further. So, we'll go ahead with that. See what other selection advice they're recommending. They just want you to swap the midfielders and Secunda or Ekstrom, Ekstrom up there. But we've already worked out that. This is probably the best setup because Ekstrom's actually got some brilliant, brilliant tackling, work rate, and his physicals are good. So he's going to be a brilliant left back. So I'm going to go with this team. See how this goes. <laughs> I'm just hoping for a win. Give me a win, please. They're not too familiar with the formation either. That's the problem with coming into a team and changing the formation straight away. Not too familiar. Um, so hopefully we can get, get something out of this. Okay, so I just changed the camera settings. I don't know if this is a highlight or not. Because I had to change it onto key highlights. Yeah, there we go. Um, so it's probably only going to bring up the, the highlights where a goal or a good opportunity comes from it. Uh, but a good 10 minutes. Not too many shots. We've had one shot. That's nice. <laughs> good start to the, the managerial season. Uh, not a lot happening. Uh, MYPA just had a shot. Uh, it seems like this season is going to be a struggle. We just need to survive and try and build something in the in the summer or whenever the break is in this league. So that's a good ball. Oh, who was that? Was it Lukanen or someone? He had a good chance. If he just shot first time, it was a big chance. All right, into half time. Not a lot else happened that that half at all, um, but I'm I'm happy. I'm happy to be honest. I'm gonna let the assistant do the do the talk there, motivate them. I'm up, and yeah, let's see. No one's like tired, which is good to see, because we're doing like a high press formation. Uh, what's gonna come from this, Lukanen? Yeah, the other team's probably gonna counter attack here. Gold Jahan Poor is going down the line. Sorry if I murder some names here. That's got to be offside, surely. Yeah, thought so. I was like, where's the defenders? <laughs> it has to be offside. Um, so that's not a good sign, to be honest. And we've got Smith injured now. 
Hmm. Do we take... I'm going to last to about the 60th minute and then I'm going to take that Smith off. So after this highlight, I'll take him off. Lions have sort of turned into the other team getting on top a little bit. Hopefully this highlight comes of something for us. So a good ball in into Smith and he hits the bar from that header. So I am going to take Smith off because I don't want to risk him because he is, is our best midfielder. Let's, because I don't really know the players yet. Let me just see. Guy's not the best. Okay, so we've got Lindholm and we've got Astrada. The Astrada is, I'd rather put Astrada on. Center attacking midfield. Midfielding spot. And yeah, let's see if we can get another highlight here. Okay, nothing has happened. Um, we're in the 80th minute now. Uh, we've had five shots, more possession. They've only had one shot. But we got to make a goal. We've got to, come on, create something, lads. Um, so let's bring on Eslander. He actually looks pretty, pretty okay. He's, he's mainly a right back, but it looks like he can do, do a job up here. He's got good finishing and things like that. So well, let's bring him on. Um, in terms of midfield, what's Forsman? Is he any good? So I'm not going to make too many changes here. Just go with that and see, see if we can create, turn these shots, only five shots, but see if we can turn them into opportunity. Okay, so no, no highlights came of that. Um, Full-time whistle has gone. Our defenders are come out with all green ratings, which is a good sign. I uh, just want to shore up the back line. Um, and I did say the defenders are probably the best bit about this team. <laughs> uh, so that's good. It's good. A bit frustrating that we had six shots um, and no clear cut sort of highlight. We had that one highlight where the guy could have shot and he just controlled it down. But other than that, there was nothing too big about that. I'm, I kind of agree with this. I'm not happy with your performance because you should have had a lot more out of that, especially at home against a team that we're competing with. Kind of frustrating at the end of the day. Especially for the first game, that had been wonderful to get a win. But at least we got a point. We're not really keeping up here. <laughs> uh, we need to get a win, get back on 12 points, and that puts us, at least we're sort of touching distance. But at the moment, we're just too far, too far off. Uh, so Darren Smith is injured, only six days. So that was probably a good decision to take him off. That could have been a lot longer, definitely. And yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. Hope you guys will enjoy this series. Um, as much as I'm enjoying Football Manager at the moment too. Uh, if you guys ever want to check out my Maidenhead series that I'm doing on Twitch, 100% check out my Twitch below in the description. Uh, I stream it Monday, Wednesdays, Friday, and the weekends, Saturday, Sunday. So uh, weekdays I do in the evenings. Saturday, Sunday is probably about midday-ish, maybe morning. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I'll uh, see you guys in the next one.